Score set. They loved that trip by the way. Why would they not Duke on target with a three-pointer to get the Friars going as he nails the trip. Holy Cross and Providence used to play all the time. There's a quick strike in the lane there. They get the ball downstairs for Floyd. And now the Friars to push the tempo. Still looking for the development of David Duke, a very talented point guard. As that one will rattle in, and it's Reeves who also wanted a foul on the play. No whistle there, but that makes it 10 to 5. Sienna on this court last Tuesday. Out of the corner, Grandison. Nice touch there for a three pointer. Jacob Grandison, a 6 6 sophomore. He's a good looking player. Benzin underneath. Another well run play. Grandison strikes again. Well, you turn your head, they're going to go back door. You cannot just throw the sport if it's not there. Another turnover. Picked off by Benson. He'll lay it up and in as he goes all the way to put Holy Cross back in the lead. Get into his vision. Jump shot on the way by Nigo for three. And he'll drain that. Butler beat everyone to the other end. Forced it to tip up. And they're going to count that basket. You want to heat up the basketball, which means. Get up in their face. Put your chin on the ball. Get up. Make them feel you chest to chest. And if you don't, Holy Cross can get comfortable and start doing this. They only scored 13 points in the second half at Michigan because Michigan got up in them. They used their length. Reeves to the paint. Off the window and a beautiful shot. 30-27. That's a good recipe. Green underneath, they find the open man, and guess who it's Floyd for the slam. That's Holy Cross basketball Green. at its best. Butler got airborne and threw it away. Picked up by Jackson. Out in front of the crowd, he will slam it in. And it's a one-point game. Under 13 to go in Providence. Stepping into it, Duke. He drains the three. And that will tie the game at 48. Since, half time. Since the first half, Watson with a touch, back out top for White. Watson for the stop. That was pretty. Malik White trying to garner some playing time, and he's doing a great job. Not only the up in Richmond, Virginia, a huge Allen Iverson fan. From the corner, Green with the answer and a three pointer. Green on Duke, and that one tossed away. And a great save by Jackson on the side. Just watch the put a slam. Well, it turned into something. It turned into two big points, but it was nearly a turnover. Well, we've said intelligent it. and very talented, and he is a winning type player. We saw it in the Big East tournament a year ago. Almost willed Providence to win over Villanova in the final. And tonight, he has found a way. He saw his team in deep trouble, and he just started making plays on the perimeter and on the baseline. He's always got to get the ball up on the rim to give yourself a chance. That was a bad possession by Providence, but good awareness by Duke. Stuffed in big time by Nate Watson underneath. And he throws it away. Right to Jackson. White hands off for Duke. And he made it in a foul. He'll be at the line. That might be a backbreaker. That will do it. Providence College. Coming from behind on their home court to win this one tonight. 70 to 61 over Holy Cross. The largest lead of the ball game was nine for Holy Cross. And then Providence went on a 20 to 2 run. And really with lockdown defense forcing big turnovers to hit those key shots.